account. Hello, my name is Jack Palm Pinfold and I'm a peer researcher with the Institute for Community Studies. The Institute for Community Studies is a charity based in London that has, mit- that has a mission to understand and strengthen communities across the UK. As a peer researcher, I'm currently working on a project aiming to understand how 16 to 30 year olds across the UK understand, relate to and get involved with their communities. The project is funded by the National Citizen Service and the Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport. My role is to speak to other young people who live locally to learn about the issues that matter to you, as well as work on how you engage the activities that, that support your local community. Sorry. My job is to learn about issues that matter to you, as well as work on how you engage in activities to support your local community. The information I gather will help the community studies gain a better understanding of opportunities available to people our age across the UK and how we can better be supported to act on issues we care most about. The findings from the research will be published in the Youth Agenda at the end of April 2022, which we will share with you. If you'd like to learn more information about the Institute for Community Studies, you can look at their website. Alternatively, my mentor will be happy to talk to you. I also need to record your consent before we get started. Uh, you have been invited to take part in an informal interview to have a conversation about your experiences engaging with your community. My role is just to gather information. I'm not looking for any particular answers, and I'm just interested in your opinions and perspectives. It's likely you have more to say on some issues compared to others. Feel free to skip any questions that you feel are less relevant to you. Taking part is voluntary. You can stop the interview at any time, and you do not have to answer any questions that you're not comfortable with. You can also draw your answers from the study for up to two weeks after taking part. Your answers will be made anonymous. Anything you say in the interview will not be linked to your personal details in our research, and we will remove any identifiable information from your, from your responses for, before being publishing in our outputs. Any information gathered during your interview will be treated and stored in line with the principles of the General Data Protection Regulation and be used solely for the purposes of this project. I would like to record this interview to ensure that I don't miss any relevant information. Are you happy for this interview to be recorded? Yes. Are you happy for direct quotes to be used in the final report or output? Yes. Thank you. If you wish to stop the interview at any time or if you have any questions as we go along, please do let me know. Are you happy to proceed with the interview? Yep. Okay, thank you very much. So, briefly, how do you find, how do you define community? I would say that community is a sort of, it's a coming together of people under one sing, under one single or multiple aims. So mm. there's always a sort of intention behind every community and a community isn't just an individual working in isolation. So I, I would define it as that. Do you think community is important? I think that human beings are by nature, like every single human being that has ever lived with two exceptions has been born into a family setting and so we're adapted and we exist largely as community creatures and so for us to be divorced from that kind of environment although of course we can exist in a in a certain in a certain manner of speaking uh without a community i think that it's 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 vitally important to the point where without community we would cease to be a species at this point Mm -hmm. so what do you think community is important for well, I think it's it's important for a number of things. Well, first of all, obviously, working together in order to build greater and greater things. So, you know, like a, a single person can't build, or at least we're not at the point yet, where a single person can build a skyscraper. That would be one example. Mm-hmm. Another one is that it it fulfills certain desires that we have in ourselves. Like we have a desire for a closeness with certain people. We have a desire built into us for friendship. Um, to some extent for a kind of love. And I think that they provide that kind of end. But I think that there's, there's something more to it that sort of transcends just the mere fulfilling of these kinds of desires for things. There's something inherently good about it. And I think that it's something that maybe gives context to how human beings exist. So, you know, of course, Community provides one aspect, but it can also contribute to meaning in someone's life. It shouldn't be the integral meaning, of course, but it contributes to, you know, sort of a, a secondary tier meaning. So like you know, your your highest reason for existing, maybe something more interior, but your secondary sense may be like 
you know, guaranteeing your, um, you know, your wife keeps on going and having like a good life or, you know, the same with your friends. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty kind of not very well directed answer, but you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you for that. So what communities do you feel you belong to? Well, I have a number of communities. Um, I'm a member of the Roman Catholic Church. This, well, the Catholic Church is a large part of the Roman branch. I'm a member of the Social Democratic Party. Mm-hmm. And I am, I'm in a number of internet communities as well, besides this, usually focusing on, um, on faith and on socially conservative politics. Mm-hmm. Do you feel connected to your community? Uh, I feel connected to the party to the extent that I have friends in there, not really so much in terms of identifying with all of the explicit policies. Mm-hmm. Uh, with my friends in socially conservative groups, we often have disagreements on certain principles. But again, transcending that, like there is a relation there. And with the church, probably more fundamental, mm-hmm. uh, like, like a, a very fundamental connection, uh, uh, like a kind of, a Something that, that sort of reaches to the deepest part of, um, of my existence in a way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. In which communities do you feel like your voice is heard? Um, hmm. I don't, I don't really think that I'm listened to very much within the political party because the solutions that I see is really solving the problems they're trying to address are a lot more fundamental mm-hmm. than really just is kind of on the table for polit- for political discussions. I think there needs to be something like I won't necessarily say maybe unconventional is the best word. I won't, I won't say necessarily extreme. I'll, I'll say unconventional because it's not really, it, it, it might manifest itself in some extreme ways, but I really, I really think it's fundamentally what a lot of people want. Mm-hmm. That's that's the first thing. In terms of the social commu- the social conservative movements, I mean, I'm very present there. I get listened to, yeah. And in terms of the the church itself, uh, we just did a global synod for all of the churches around the world, and so everyone's opinion was taken. But of course, being in a in a community with a billion visible members, it's uh, you know it's kind of hard to like sh- to like be. <laughs> You know, like, and that's how it's supposed to be. So, Mm -hmm. you know. Excellent. Thank you. So what does the phrase civic engagement mean to you? Civic engagement means to me when people in specifically a political society, so like being voters, Mm -hmm. they come together and they discuss and they act on desires and perceived goods Mm -hmm. in relation to the overarching society and state Mm -hmm. okay well for the purposes of the rest of this interview civic engagement includes as you mentioned democratic participation so voting campaigning for elections activism of any kind volunteering helping the community member and campaigning so can you please tell me a bit about how you've engaged with civic activities over the course of your life so far well, I canvassed for the Conservative Party once. I was in a national youth position in the um, UK Independence Party, UKIP. Mm-hmm. And I'm a member of the Social Democratic Party at the moment. Mm-hmm. In terms of other organisations I've been in, I've kind of been a nominal member of um, St Vincent Paul Society, but that's much more on the side of charity than anything specifically political. Mm-hmm. Didn't really do much. <laughs> I'll say that. I just, I signed, I signed the, uh, the document. Basically. Mm-hmm. So, how has your experience, you mentioned obviously within all these political parties and the one you're in now, left you feeling? Uh, with the Conservatives, I was basically there for friends. For UKIP, it was quite intense because there were struggles between different wings of the party, which ended up well, I mean, it spiraled into irrelevance now. I won't say it was caused necessarily by the interior struggle so much as it was just failing at the ballot box and failing to adapt. Mm-hmm. And in terms of the SDP, I mean, I haven't really gotten involved enough to say uh, beyond, you know, being in Facebook comment sections and private groups. So I can't really say for the SDP. 